Let me tell you a tale. In the last few years of the Jurassic Channelverse on YouTube, we have witnessed the creation of a brand new channel that has joined the Jurassic community. That of course being Rex's Game Bro. And in its few years of existence, we've witnessed some intense unboxings. From the very first being the Carnotaurus Toro, which has now been shaped into Coco, of course, as you've seen in videos before. Then he has gone through the Camp Cretaceous lines throughout its run, and of course his most recent endeavors taking on the dangerous Jurassic World Dominion products, from their Legos to their Mattel products to even some random eggs that he always managed to face and come out on top. But today may be his most intense unboxing as we witness him take on a exclusive collectible from Mattel's line in the Hammond Collection. Is he up to it? Well, let's find out, guys, today. Hello, and welcome to another unboxing video for the channel. I'm your host, the random YouTuber you've been stuck with for the last, well, two and a half years, I think it's been. And, well, today is an exciting unboxing. Probably the craziest and most interesting we've ever done, and also, maybe even the biggest we'll ever do on the channel. I don't know, but we are going to be doing it because if we look in the last recent while, we've done some regular Mattel figures like the regular T-Rexes, the regular Carnotaurus. This time, we're doing something crazy. We have got an exclusive set which only a few hundred other Jurassic fans out there have. And of course, I am talking about one set in particular, which, oh my god, I thought was not going to be able to happen, but luckily, it did. And that is, of course, the Hammond Collection T-Rex Outhouse set that I can't remember where it was featured, but it was like an exclusive set, and luckily, recently, it finally arrived. And I'm going to get the tubber of a box of... And let's bring it on the board! Oh my god, jeez, this thing's bigger than I remember. As you can see, here, we've got this amazing box, which, honestly, like, there's been some box arts that, like, I've seen, like, these exclusive ones have been, like, the top notch. The last one was, if I'm not mistaken, that, um, Arnold one with, like, it was, like, a cheapy Arnold version. It wasn't, like, Amber Collection, which I think was still going around at that time. It was just like a regular, like a legacy collection version with a legacy version of the um, Jurassic Park Raptors. And it was for the um, maintenance shed where Ray Arnold was killed, unfortunately. This is the next one, which is the Hammond Collection T-Rex Outhouse Chaos set, I think it's called. I don't think T-Rex is like in the name, but I know it's the Outhouse Chaos set. And honestly, if I just, like, show it in, like, the other camera, I've got to say, like, the box art on this is just absolutely gorgeous on every side. Like, you've got the, on the top, you've got the Jurassic Park logo, which if I bring into this camera as well, like, just, hopefully it'll not be in reverse when I'm editing this, but you've got it there, and then just, like, you got the Jurassic Park gates, like, just looking glorious as always with the foliage and stuff, and I may be a Biosyn um, Dolomite fan, I love that location, and I love the Lost World, but you'll never top this, like, luxurious look of it, the raw stone gates with the foliage surrounding it, and then the, the nice inclusion of a Pteranodon in the background, which, honestly, I'll get that close up in this camera, but it's actually a really nice one, I wasn't expecting it for this, but that is only one box art, because this box contains another box. But, let's gently put that down, and then, da 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 we have the T-Rex itself, which again is just like, like, it is just so good, like just, it's just so good. And probably my sister's outside listening to this and like, what a loser, but who cares? I can be happy. And of course, this is the exclusive one with the Hammond Collection, Donald Gennaro, which so far, as of recording this, there's not been even a single announcement whether there will be one on the regular line, because 
recently Ray Arnold and Robert Muldoon figures were shown off, so that's cool. And also Pachycephalosaurus, which I cannot wait to see that one. But meanwhile, we're on T-Rex, we're on Rexy, folks, which actually, we will need um, Rexy from behind me, actually, right over here, probably to compare. As you can see, we got the foliage here with the screen showing Rexy, the hem figure, which also, one thing that some people may not know is that there is a difference between this ham and Rex and the regular one. This one has had a paint job to make it look more darker, as if to reenact the scene more faithfully, as, of course, this scene of the main road attack and Donald Gennaro's toilet scene, which, honestly, it's awesome that we get the outhouse as well. This was, of course, in the rain, and I think it's supposed to have, a, like, a reflective look, which hopefully isn't too crazy, because otherwise the lights will be a little bit of a downside, but who knows? And also, we've got Donald Gennaro, we've got the outhouse, and of course, guys, the most important feature. Forget all of that stuff. We have a freaking toy toilet, guys. Who doesn't want that in their collection? Especially their Jurassic collection. And also, I just noticed this, it also comes with the T-Rex sign, the, um, on the map and the photography logo, and no feeding the wildlife or anything. Of course, you got the Jurassic logo. And then if we look on the back, actually, which I should also show the front in, like, some close-ups here. Hopefully, it's not too reflective. It's doing okay. But on the back of the box, it's even more gorgeous artwork again. But this time, it comes with a warning of the T-Rex, which we shall read. <clears throat> During the trial run of Jurassic Park, Donald Gennaro ends up courting disaster when he frantically flees from his vehicle in hopes of hiding from the Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as Rexy to us fans. However, he learns the true meaning of, of when nature calls during this bathroom breakdown when, where his objection is clearly overruled. And of course it shows a nice electrical signal with the T-Rex as well, which is just gorgeous. This box art as well on the back showing the fence. Oh my god. If this came with like a plastic fence piece as well that was broken down as well, oh my god, this would be so good. And also, it's kind of annoying that um, last, uh, like, I think it was last year or was it the year before they released that um, T-Rex set with the Ford Explorer because it's like, now I want that Ford Explorer, but I don't want another T-Rex, because, like, I'm running out of room here, guys, for T-Rexes. They're bloody huge, okay? But, also, before we get them out, there's also a button, which on this is really cool, which is the sound effects for the toilet, which, of course, came with, um, the Ray Arnold set for the previous, um, exclusive, the one with the maintenance shed, and came with some of his lines from the movie. This ha comes with sound effects of the rain and the T-Rex, which, let's just play one before we get him out. And that is just awesome. Just like the foot stomps, the rain effect. It's just awesome. But I think it is time that we get this guy out of his box. The collector in me is trying to say no, but I think I've got to do it just for you guys. I swear to God, if this thing's broken or in any way, shape, or form, I will literally cry. Okay, we did it, guys. We have successfully saved a box. Now, as long as no one comes through the door and gives me a heart attack, we'll be fine. There we go. And now, just gotta adjust this foot. Oh, there we go. Also, I can definitely see what people mean about oversized feet with this guy. These things are huge. And here we go. We have the Hammond Rex, and oh my god, that eye is so creepy, actually. It's just literally, like, from my position, you, it, like, it's looking back at me. It's like, it's like it's looking at all these toys back. It's like, I'm going to kill you and replace you. Even though you're just replacing the T-Rexes, because, oh my god, this thing is so gorgeous. 
And let's just close that mouth and, ooh, yeah, <laughs> this thing is awesome. I, okay, I, I can definitely say this thing's a 10 out of 10 for toys. Even with the oversized feet and my only wish to improve on them, this thing is awesome. Like, first off, I want to talk about this glass eye. I know it's like not glass, it's plastic, but it definitely brings back memories for like, especially fans of who were around during the Lost World, they may remember the Bull T-Rex, I think it was. I don't think it was the female Rex. I know there was two. And I know that the um, one that sort of inspired the Super Colossals in their, like, eating animation, this guy has a plastic eye that's just like that one, which, honestly, absolutely love. It looks really good for the most part. There are some spots where, like, I think the black is too far into the eye, but I guess it works. And the posability on this is just insane. Like, I know they've gone, like, to the limits with, um, the Hammond Collection as a whole, but this, this is just awesome. Like, the fact that for this guy, I can pose his, the T-Rex's, like, limbs completely, that's just awesome. Instead of them just being always straight out, like, ugh, there we go. This time, I can actually, like, pose them properly, as soon as, like, I loosen the joints, because, like, one of the downsides of, like, these hand collections is, like, the joints are really, really difficult to, like, move, because, like, right now he's, like, sort of posing them outwards. This guy, posability-wise, like, I can get him into, like, any pose, like, lowering the head, so he's, like, looking down at Jannar, which is awesome. And even they've got one for, like, the torso area, which, honestly, that's, that's definitely something that's quite a surprise, and... The fact that this is like a large, large dinosaur, like, I'm not gonna get my, um, Dominion Rex, but I'll get my Camp Cretaceous one as a comparison for, like, size. And, oh my god, this thing's bigger. Like, I haven't even, like, straightened out the tail yet, because, like, it's curved, but already here, this one's smaller. That, that, that's insane, like, I might have to put him on the front here just to show, like, for one, because of the way it is, like, this one's so slouched over, but like, from the legs, this guy is like, way, way taller. This is proper Rexy, folks. I thought this thing would be a little smaller, because like, I assume that's why for the Amber Collection they didn't do any, like, even medium dinosaurs. I think the largest thing they did was the Pteranodon, but this is insane, like, how big it is, like, it's, it's definitely, thank God it's not like, the super colossal size but oh my god that just brought up an idea imagine a super colossal with this posability for a compi mattel make it happen give us a super colossal comp signathus then we have a full-on life-size compi that'll be awesome but posability wise like the tail is of course got that wire frame that like all of these amber collections have which is awesome and the it's got this guy's got like tail two actually because like there's a rubber part and then like a plastic that connects of course you got the posability on the legs which has got a knee joint you've got two joints down here between the feet and the ankles and then you've got the torso here you've got the neck you've got the head on its own which is like really posable like it's not like all the way where i can turn it can turn and look behind it and stuff but it, it definitely works it's more posable than the Baryonyx, that's for sure, which is one that I have. And the mouth, let's get that open. Oh, so it's got, wait, oh yeah, it's got the gum, the, okay, this is something I absolutely love. Let me just move this out of the way, like, I'll just put them down here for now. Like, these plat, these rubbery gums, I absolutely love, like, they just look so cool. Yes, it looks a little strange with them when it's, like, partially closed, but you know what? I I'll take that. This, like, the fact that it's got that rubbery feature, I really hope they continue these little things for the large carnivores. Like, the glass eyes definitely keep doing that, and these rubber gums, and the poseable tongue as well, which honestly is like, oh, that's cool, that's just, like, that's giving me Lost World vibes. If I had a Sarah Harding figure, I'd be like, oh, she she's getting the little lickies from the T-Rex. But, like, this is actually really good. Like, like sculpt-wise, they absolutely nail it and stuff. And this, 
is definitely the best T-Rex, like, of all time. The only thing that I would, I would change is these toes, and if you're going to keep them this big, make them at least curl, so, like, if it's stepping on something, like a Triceratops or something, it can, like, properly pose its foot properly as if it's gripping but like even like looking in this camera like this is definitely awesome and I love that it's like like the um Dominion Rex which like I'm pointing at the Giga nope you're on this side silly like I love that this one is really dark which I think the regular one is a little bit more on the brown side than I would like so I'm definitely glad I was able to get this and for Gennaro well Let's see, can Rexy chomp him? Oh, there we go. Now, can it hold, can she hold on to him? Sorry about that, guys. I have no idea how long I just stopped recording for, but apparently I just like stopped for some reason. Not on this camera, so we may be cutting back to that one for like a little glip or something, but I don't know. But we were just about to really conclude, like this Hammond figure, awesome like on its own is just awesome the fact that i have a one of the few donald gennaro's out there and i don't know if they're actually going to put it on the public line like its own figure and stuff like ian malcolm ellie sattler and alan grant and others so if not it's going to be very interesting this is going to be like a very highly demanded um figure like for people who just get these and sell them they're probably going to be very expensive i'm not going to get rid of this like forever or stuff unless like they give me a scarred version and it's like dark and stuff i probably will never get rid of this rex this is the rex the detail is outstanding the sculpt even better like the only problem with the dominion one for the sculpt was the head was way too thick it was like it was a chipmunk this like this is just like perfect pretty much and like only thing I would say to make it even better is if it had the scars. I know it's the Jurassic Park version of Rexy and like this before she got her scars, but come on guys, I want those scars. It would just make this 100 times better for me. And if this came with like a banner 65 when dinosaurs ruled the earth, oh, he would just be absolutely begging for me to die because that would be awesome. But let's just get it into a pose like that. like. Well, it's technically the other way, but yeah, guys, this is the Hammond Collection Rexy for the Outhouse set. For Gennaro in this, like, they're not really the most fanciest things, like, this is just cardboard. Oh, God, I just totally took it off. I forgot about that, but yeah, like, of course, you can have, like, you can recreate the scene where it's, like, looking down at him. Like, everything is just, like, perfect for this, like... This is definitely for the collectors. Like, the Hammond Collection was made for the collectors, and this set's just like, this took it to the next level, and I cannot wait to see where they go for, like, the future ones. I don't know what the next big carnivore is, but that's actually an important question to conclude this video, guys. While this is the first large carnivore, and actually large dinosaur so far that the Hammond Collection has done, what one do you want to see next for the Hammond Collection? Personally, for me, it's got to be the Indominus Rex or the Giganotosaurus. Those two I'm dying to get. I can wait for Spinosaurus. Maybe I can wait a little bit for Indoraptor. But I need that Indominus Rex. If I could get... If I see an Indominus Rex hand collection, I will die. Literally. Because that will be amazing. But until then, guys, we have to wait. <laughs> But at least we have Rexy, because she is awesome. But we need them all. We need the preciouses. But if you've enjoyed this Hem Collection unboxing, guys, probably one of the last we will do. I mean, I've got one more Lego set that I want to do, the Pyroraptor one with Ian Malcolm. But after that, we don't really have more unboxings in the future, except for probably any Hem Collections that I managed to ever get which is kind of questionable at the moment but anyway guys if you've enjoyed this video I would appreciate the like and if you haven't already do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt and if you want to see more unboxings or anything Jurassic World Evolution 2 theory videos which I'm really hoping to get back into now that we don't really have any unboxings to do 
But if you have any suggestions for that, leave them all in the comments, of course. And until next time, guys, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.